Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from SegaCityUniverse.com and GravesideEntertainment.com. Um, I got a request from a YouTube friend named Wasting Time, Wasting Time. He uh, he saw my Sonic CD impression review video from last week, and he wanted to see a quick comparison between the original on Sega CD and the I guess HD version or, or re-release on Xbox Live Arcade and on PSN. I sadly do not own a PlayStation, so um, it looks like it's just going to be Xbox Live, but I'm sure it's very similar, if not the same game. So here we go. This is the Sega CD version I have in that I showed previously. So as I said in my previous video, um, besides not being good at this as you can see, it's most people's favorite Sonic game. They actually think this one is, is either the best or one of the better ones. So uh, that says something. I mean, I think these graphics still hold up today. I think everything's really nice. The game is still fun, even though I'm not, again, for the millionth time, a huge platforming guy. I still think it's a good game. The music's great. Ow! Shit. Alright, whatever. And this is only connected via um, composite cables because even if you do the S video mod for your Sega Genesis, it doesn't actually work with the Sega CD. So uh, I guess keep that in mind if you ever decide to mod your Sega Genesis to work with S video, which cleans up the picture a little bit and brightens up the colors, even though I think it looks great now. Well, this is Sega City, but still, you get my point. So I'm going to show again the uh, special level, that way I can show that in the, uh, the new version because I'm sure that's, that's a pretty good comparison because of the, you know, it's a different depth, it's not 2D, it's, it's got a little more oomph to it. I didn't even know you could look. You could leave the zone. I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, it just throws you out. All right, so now um, I'm going to stop it here on the Sega CD version. Let's check out the 360 release, which just came out on Xbox Live. I don't think very long ago. Uh, it is the demo. I didn't purchase it. So, all right, here we go. 
play trial. Doesn't that still hype everyone up? I still love hearing that. Jesus, that's loud. So is this the Japanese music? Because that, that intro is different. This is definitely different. This is in the Sega CD version. I think I usually just cut it out before I get to it, but this is in there. It, they may have cleaned it up a little bit, but uh, it doesn't look that great, honestly, so it's probably not really cleaned up much. Yeah, the music's the, uh, I think, the Japanese version. I like that it's full screen. Sharp, smooth, and nostalgia. And I don't see, uh, Wasting Time, Wasting Time had mentioned that they, you have a choice between the, um, you know, American music and the Japanese version of the music. I don't see that, so maybe that's just the, oh wow, that's really nice looking. That, maybe that's just the, uh, PS3 version for some reason. So that's, uh, what was that? Not smooth. Sharp. What's... Okay, so this looks a little more uh, true to form in terms of the uh, quality. The other one wait, makes it very, very smooth looking, which is weird that this one's called smooth. And this is this is pretty much well. Actually, I think the Sega CD looks a little better than this. This looks a little a little too old fashioned. But maybe you know, maybe it's just my eyes. Who knows? Let's put it on uh, on smooth the way it was and do a couple minutes of it. I'm also not sure how far you can get, considering it's a uh, demo, so let's see. It handles well, I mean, it handles the same. Um, I'm sure they've tightened up the controls maybe a little bit because it's, it's on a, you know, a new system and they probably, well, that was cool. And they probably, um, you know, wanted to make it as best as possible, so I'm sure they did a little tweak here and there. Um, I might like the American view music a little better. Or I might just be used to the American music. Oh, that's it. Okay, sorry about that, wasting time, wasting time. Um, it's only one level, so... Uh, I, I don't really see much of a difference, honestly. I, I think the, the graphics, obviously, with the little uh, settings that you can adjust are nicer on the 360 or the PS3, I'm sure. But, uh, I don't know, nostalgia-wise, I kind of like the Sega CD version. I mean, I, th I think they're both great in their own regard. It's just a nice little HD upgrade. Um, I think if you have a Sega CD, it's a great game to buy if you love Sonic especially and platformers. If you don't and you just want to pick up something cheap, I think Wasting Time, Wasting Time, that said it was $4.99. Um, that's, uh, that's a good price. I think that's worth it if you like Sonic. So, um, there's really not much to say. It's, it's pretty comparable. I think I, I, I prefer the Sega CD's music better, and I like the nostalgia factor of playing it on the Sega CD. But uh, if you don't have that option, I, I would not probably recommend going out and buying a Sega CD to play that one game. Even though the Sega CD has many games that have not been re-released, like Shining Force CD and Snatcher and all the FMV jammies that I love, like Double Switch and Night Trap. So uh, that's pretty much it. I am going to delete my, uh, my demo of that now. So thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com and GravesideEntertainment.com. Take care.